the tourist shuttle bus drives around tourist attractions in the east and the west of Jeju Island. There are two bus numbers, 810 and 820. The bus for the east is 810 and the bus for the west is 820. It is the most cheapest way to travel many tourist attractions by the bus. A day is too short to travel around all the stops. I'll introduce tourist attractions to help you plan your travel by the bus. Two different bus numbers in 820. 820-1 and 820-2. The difference between the buses is that they run in two different directions. 820-1 drives in clockwise and 820-2 drives in anti-clockwise. The route of each bus line is opposite one another. The bus operates from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and departs every 30 minutes. At 8.20 a.m. and 9.20 a.m., the bus departs from Jeju Airport. If you are in Jeju City, it would be better to get on the bus at the airport. It takes 50 minutes to get the start point of the course. When you come back to Jeju City, the bus departs 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. at Dongguang Transit Center. In the west, you can travel natural attractions, including the most popular one, also Lok Tea Museum, and also many indoor theme parks. You can buy the day pass at an office in Dongguang Transit Center or at the bus. The day pass is 3,001. Cash is available to pay at the office and at the bus. But credit card is available only at the office. Free Wi-Fi is available on the bus. To get information about the spots the bus will stop by, check out the QR code on the back of the seat. To check next bus stop, check out the screen at the front of the bus. When the bus is arriving where you want to get off, press the button to make the bus stop. You can go to Dongguang Transit Center from Jeju Bus Terminal. The bus numbers for this trip are 251 to 5, 151 to 2, 182, 282. These are the bus lines available here. As you can see, there are many schedules so you don't need to wait for a bus for a long time. Here's a little tricky for a first-time tourist. There is a big bus platform outside the bus terminal and there is the other platform inside the bus terminal. You should get on the bus at the platform inside the terminal not the platform outside the terminal. Dongguang Transit Center is where you get off. When you arrive here, you can find this roundabout. Many bus stops stand around here, so it's a little confusing which bus stop you should use. Get a ticket at bus stop number 1, then walk across the road to get to bus stop number 2, where the bus departs. 820-2 depart at bus stop number 2 and drive straight to tourist attractions. Jeju Aerospace Museum is one of the best tourist attractions for your children. It has a real-size aircraft exhibitions and many educational experience join. On the top floor of the museum, you can have a cool experience at Jeju Green Cafe. It's like you are getting into the pen drawing. This place good to take selfies for an Instagram photo. Also, Lok Tea Museum and Jeju Innisfree House is one of the most popular tourist attractions. 
There are green tea farm, green tea product store, cafe, and the best Instagrammable spots at the same time. At Osolok Tea Museum, you can taste various kind of teas, and they all have very good flavor, and you can enjoy green tea flavored dessert too. In the front yard, there are photo zones, one with Osolok leather back wall, and cup shaped trees which is bigger than a man. At the gate, there is another photo zone where a big cup figure stands. Innisfree Jeju House is right by Osolok Tea Museum. A new place opened recently here for cafe. When you visit here, you should check out. In Innisfree Jeju House, you can shop all the products from every line of Innisfree, as well as these awesome drinks and desserts. You can order Jeju picnic set here. It has Jeju Henya Toshirak, which is a kind of meal box containing a burger, sweet potato fries, and two healthy juices. It's all prepared with a picnic bag, and you can rent a very cool picnic blanket too. It's gonna be the best moment of your travel, enjoying the picnic in the green tea farm. Jeju Glass Castle has very beautiful grass artworks exhibition outside and inside. At Jeju Glass Castle, you can experience a lamp work. A lamp work is to make a small glass accessories like a necklace using a torch. You can walk along the trail outside enjoying many glass artworks. This forest is not a just forest. Jeju Gochawar Hansang Forest is a very unique place where its atmosphere is so beautiful. You can discover very special plants and landscapes only existing in Jeju Island. Even in summer, the forest is quite cool. When you visited Jeju Gochawar Hansang Forest, join in a guide tour, which runs at the top of the hour by 5 p.m. A guide here helps you understand how valuable this forest. But the tour is led in Korean, so you should ask an English guidebook when you get a ticket. This place called Pangliwon is not much crowded, so it's nice to stroll around slowly and take a break. All year round, you can enjoy beautiful flowers here. In spring, the wildflower blooms. In summer, hydrangea blooms over this place. In autumn, chrysanthemum and even in winter, camellia flower blooms. The spirited garden is well known of bonsai, of potted plants and trees. As well as a bonsai exhibition, this place is good to stroll around and have a time to think. Norime is one of the best places to enjoy flowers all year round. In spring, cherry blossom and Japanese apricot flowers. In summer, hydrangea. And in autumn, you can enjoy roses and pink humulis.
At Choingguksin Park, you can see small size war landmarks. This exhibition is displayed outdoor the park. There are so many landmarks here, like Tower Bridge in the UK or Eiffel Tower in France. There is one more exhibition here too. The name of the exhibition is Alice into the Rabbit Hole. This exhibition is about Alice, so you can discover many creative artworks about Alice. Classic car is not an unusual thing on the road nowadays. At World Automobile Jeju Museum, you can see beautiful classic cars. You can see not only cars, but also beautiful pianos. Entering Hello Kitty Island, a tower standing up to the ceiling, welcomes you. This theme park is made like a total Hello Kitty world, exciting especially your kids. There is a cafe making Hello Kitty coffee, ice cream, and cakes. It looks so cute. Two different bus numbers in 810, 810-1 and 810-2. The difference between the buses is that they run in two different directions. 810-1 drives in anti-clockwise and 810-2 drives in clockwise. The route of each bus line is opposite one another. The bus operates from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and departs every 30 minutes. At 8.20 a.m. and 9.20 a.m., the bus departs from Jeju Airport. When you come back to Jeju City, the bus departs 5.30 p.m and 6.30 p.m. at Daechon Transit Center. Like we do for travel to the west, we can take a bus to get to Daechon Transit Center. The bus numbers for this trip are 111, 112, 121, 122, 211, 212, 221, and 22. Daechon Transit Center is where you get off. When you arrive here, you can find this intersection. Get a ticket at bus stop number 2. Then walk across the road to get to bus stop number 1, where the bus departs. 810-1 departs at bus stop number 2 and drives straight to tourist attractions. In the east of the island, you can travel natural landscapes, including the autumns, where you can see unique geography with an easy climb to see an amazing view on the top. Jeju Island is a volcanic island, so we have a huge volcano at the center of the island called Mountain Halasan, and over 368 peristic volcanoes over the island. They are like a small hill, which has a fantastic view on the top. Climbing Orem is one of the best experiences you can have on the island. 
하부 오름 is not hard to get on the top. It takes only 10 minutes to climb up, but the view from the top is great. Snoopy Garden is a newly opened theme park with a Snoopy exhibition, a huge garden, and a lounge. It becomes so popular among tourists so quickly thanks to an interesting exhibition and beautiful garden. Songdangli village has several good cafes and restaurants and they are popular in Instagram users. Tarangshi Orem is one of popular spots for a size of landscape and the view. It is also known as Queen of Orems. If you don't know where to go for orums, go to Yongnuni Orum. It will be so satisfying to get on the top and enjoy the panoramic view. Two hours is enough time to climb up and down, also to enjoy the view at the summit. Beneath Yongnuni Orem, Jeju rail bike runs around a wide spread meadow. It runs automatically, you don't push the pedal. You can enjoy the scene of peaceful and calm rural area. Bizarin Forest is one of the popular spots along the course. You can enjoy fresh air and get relaxed walking in the forest. Maze Land is an attraction you might want to visit. This is an outdoor attraction made of three different mazes with a theme of abundant thing in Teju. Wind, stone, and woman. <laughs>